Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today I have a quick little, I guess you can say a haul. Um, I did purchase quite a few things. Fall is here and you guys know you gotta get your jacket game on point. So and I got some boots that I wanted to show you guys. One of the boots, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep it um, and I'll tell you why when I unbox them. And then I have some stockings that I purchased from Sheertex. <laughs> um, I'm tall, so I usually struggle when it comes to finding tights that actually fit me properly that are not too baggy, so I'll show those. I am gonna pop in videos as I try everything on because I don't think you're going to be able to see the entire full item. So, this jacket is a trench coat. A leather trench coat from Koss. Um, it is 100% leather, and it's an oversized, an oversized uh, leather jacket. It doesn't have any hardware, which I love. And the reason why I love that is because <laughs> you um, can wear any type of hardware on it. I need to bring my other mirror back in here so I can see over here. Um, but here's the jacket. I'm going to come a little bit closer just for a second so you guys can see. There's no hardware on the jacket. Um, that's my sweater. The back of it, it's so wrinkled. I'm kind of annoyed. You guys know how I feel about packaging. I'm kind of annoyed at cost the way they shipped it. So it's been hanging for a few days. It still has wrinkles in it. I'm going to see if I could, um... Old school, for my old school people, you would stick it under like a mattress <laughs> overnight and just kind of like lay it out or whatever. It's, it's, the, it's the bottom. So it's a thick belt. The belt has no hardware. Again, like I said, I love that part. It's made really well. Sleeves are long. Um, it has like some detailing right there. I like, the whole jacket is pretty much the same as far as like the stitching. Here's the back of it. Um, and I'm gonna just tie it up and show you guys. And I believe this is a large, I think this is a large. So that's how the back of it looks. And then the front, let's fix this. And then, I'm not even really tying it, I'm just gonna just do it like this. It has pockets. It has pockets. <laughs> this is a really, really nice coat. Um, if you are looking to buy a trench coat that is leather, try out cost. Uh, if you don't want a full leather coat, the Frankie Shop has one, but I think they're out of stock. It is very oversized and it has some detailing. It has shoulder pads. I wanted something a little bit more sleek. This sweater is so thick under here and my sleeves are up. That's why it's sticking out like that. Um, let me pull my sleeves down a bit. Yeah. Let's pull my sleeves down. And yeah. So it has pockets. Pull this in however you want it. I didn't pull it tight. But if you want to pull it tight, you can. And however you want to wear it. All right. Again, this is the jacket. I love it. Because it doesn't have any hardware. And this is a large. So if you wanted to put shoulder pads in here, you could. Um, Amazon does have them. They look okay, but I think they are detachable. So if you didn't want to wear it, and then again the back this is a really really nice coat guys so if you guys <laughs> like this definitely check them out I'm sure I got a large um, let me just read some of the specs off for you it's hot in this room let's read some of the specs I got a large 
Let me show you guys the inside. I'm gonna just come closer. You guys are, already know. So it has like a little layer there. Inside it's just a thin layer. It's not, there's no uh, lining or anything like that. Um, this is the belt, simple belt. I like simple stuff like this that'll make a, an impact on any outfit that I wear. Um, this is dope. You guys are already gonna know. I like leather. I'll do faux leather, but I would really prefer leather for stuff like this that I know I'm going to have for a long time. Stuff like this, you know? Um, some things I could do faux leather. Leather pants are a bit much because they are expensive, but so that's the jacket. Let's make sure this is hung up properly. Yeah. Let's make sure it's hanging properly. And yes, this is a large. So I did get a large. It's made in Turkey. Um, what else? And the price of this one was $8.90, which I think is really good for a full leather coat. It's hard to find full leather, guys. It is, like it's just, it's hard. And I'm trying to think, is this jacket, I think that's vegan. The only other jacket that's full leather is that other tan color one I showed you guys before. So that's this jacket, no hardware, very sleek, um, very nice. If you are interested in this, I would say get it. Um, especially if you're a person that likes to switch up your hardware. If you like silver and you got gold buttons, you're kind of like stuck. I don't know, I just don't like to mix the two, but definitely get you this jacket. Um, I'm just gonna go into the, to the tights that I got, stockings. And I'm gonna actually show you guys a video with this on, with, well, with these on. I'm moving over here because I'm sure I'm gonna insert something. And I'm gonna show you guys the boots when I have the boots on with these. So one of these, I'll probably pop in a picture of the styles. I got the double, I think it's called double, the modern double seam sheer rip resistant tights. And then I got these, I got these in an extra large guys. I, Cause I, you know, sometimes being tall, the struggle is pulling things up and them not getting past my thigh. I'm not the biggest girl. But what happens is, it just doesn't get far like I need it to. Um, and then the other ones, it's just a, did they send me two? Oh, this one just has a seam in the back. So remember the old school tights with the seam in the back? This one has front and back, which I wanted, I wanted to try both. Um, and they both are an extra large. And the little packaging is cute. Oh, you probably can't even see it. Let me come more. Let me see, can you guys see that? Look at the little packaging. <laughs> One has a little doggy and one has a little puppy. It's probably so bright. Um, yeah, so those are the ties. And I'll, like I said, I'm gonna pop in a video with these on. And then the first pair of boots are these Ted Baker. It is so freaking bright in here. Can you see that Ted Baker box? Um, and these are made in Brazil. Uh, they are like an ivory color. And I got a size 11. So, here's, here's my issue. They're not ugly. I like them. I'm not used to a round toe. So let's slide them over here. I'm not used to a round toe. It's different. <laughs> So I'm on the fence on should I keep them. You guys let me know. But I have an idea of how I want to wear these. Um, and I'll probably try it on with the, the jacket and the pants. If the pants are not super wrinkled. Um, but Jesus, they're so bright. But here are the boots. I'm going to come closer and try to stand in front of... You guys are probably not going to be able to see it. Because they're like an ivory color. So they're round toe. You can't really, you can't really see the color. I'm gonna turn this down some so you guys can see the actual color. Uh oh. 
Okay, okay, you can see a little bit better. So they're cute. You still really can't see it because I'm gonna get a good video in here so you guys can see it. Uh, let's fix that back. Yeah. Um. So they are. They're not. These are not. 100% leather. But I like them. But so guys, so my problem is they look like from the front, they look like kitty shoes. You know, like kids have like round toe shoes. But I like how they look from the side. And they're not, they're almost four inches. They do have that that hidden zipper that I always talk about that I like. Um, I think they're really cute. So I, when I show you guys the photo, the video, of course I'm gonna pop it in for you guys to see, but yeah. I don't know, what do you, <laughs> what do you guys think? I'm gonna pop them on in the video and go through it. Nice heel, the heel is nice. Uh, let's see what else. And they are called, it's stretch leather, so it's called Marsh, Marsh Hush? Stretch leather ankle boots. And they're by Ted Baker. And these were, I believe, 260. I don't know, I'm on the fence. I'm gonna try more with my other thing and see how I really like it. I have a lot of things that's this color. It's just, I like this color from Camu that can go with this, from Blush that can go with this, um, like Olive Green can go with this. Uh, what else? A lighter freaking, I wanna say white, but like a taupe. Um, pretty much anything, it's a neutral color. So those are these. So I'm still holding on to the to the receipt. Once I try them on again, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be sure. And then the final thing that I got was these chunky boots by Gia Pernil. And I don't know how to say her last name, Tesbic. I think she's an influencer, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and these are her chunky her chunky heel boots. Her chunky boots. Now, here's the thing with these. When I got these, I like the packaging. It was pretty cool. Good dust bag. I actually really like these dust bags. Um, some brands have like, they don't have nice dust bags. I like this one. This is this is bright, guys. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna turn it down so just so you guys, I won't be looking like washed out and stuff. Um, nice dust bag. And I'm gonna bring this up here. And I don't want it to fall now. <laughs> and these are the chunky poops. I was never into these because I got some big old feet. However, I like these. They are not too big as far as like the um, the Prada boots. These are perfect for me. Not too wide, um, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I had to get them stretched and I'm gonna tell you why. So what he did was he softened the leather for me. They're still, the boot is still the same, in same condition. Um, this is still fitted. If you have really thick calves, you're going to have trouble with this. And I got these from Farfetch. Um, you know, this little tag right here. But he softened the leather to where it's easier for me to get them on. I don't think he actually stretched the boot itself because um, I didn't have an issue with that. I have a high instep, so I struggled to get them on. And even the back was like, so hard back here so I pretty much got them to stretch it and soften up the leather so I will pop in a video with these on as well and I'll keep the stockings on with it so you guys can see but these are super cute and these were I forget how much these were I'll, I'll link these below but I've seen a really nice pair from Ghani they're kind of similar to this but guys, there's a whole bunch of brands out there. You don't have to spend a lot of money on these. But I will say this, try to get some that are leather. Okay? 
So that's all I have for you guys today. What do you guys think about these? Should I, well, I'm gonna keep these. Should I keep those, those ivory color ones? <laughs> but I'll pop in some videos for you guys so you guys can see it, how I'm actually gonna wear this. I'll link the jacket. I'll try to link something similar that is less money, um, that's still of a good quality. I'm not mad at vegan leather. It just has to be a good quality vegan leather. Those pants that I purchased, they're not the best. I like them because they're long, but they could have picked a better vegan leather. Um, but these guys, if you have wide, I'm, I'm gonna say it again, just for the folks who may have missed it. If you have wide calves, these are not for you. If you have super wide feet, these are not for you. If you have sl a slight high instep, you can get that part stretched out a bit. Um, but definitely, if you have wide calves, no. There is no... So you guys know my camera died. I can't. Um, but yes, if you have wide calves, these are not for you. They do not have the additional elastic piece. If you have a high instep, I would say just go and get them stretched just a bit to give you some leeway to get your foot inside. So... I'll show you guys these on my feet, but that is it guys. So let me know if you guys think I should keep the other boots. I'm going to pull them out just one more time so you guys can see them. One more time. You can't really, oh man, it's so bright. I'm going to get a better view for you guys. I like them. It's just that they're so round toe, but I think they're cute. They're very, very round toe. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to put them on again and check them out. But that's it, guys. That's all I have for you guys today. I'll let you know how the tights fit um, in the in the caption, in the whatever you call it, how these fit if they are true to size. Like I said, I got an extra large because I am tall. Um, the jacket. I love the jacket. If you are looking for something like this, definitely go to Kaz. I will find something that is similar, that does not have any hardware, that is vegan. And then I'll find something that is full leather that may not be as much, but this may be the cheapest because it is leather. So that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think. Hey, if you stayed this far watching me do this, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you would like to see. I am always open for suggestions, guys. I have a slew of things to do, but we only have but so much time. So make sure you're following me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and Coco Styles NYC and my blog, Coco Styles NYC and my styling services, Coco Styles NY. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco. We see you and I will catch you guys later. Bye, guys.